All right, and welcome to CES 2020. This is CES Unveiled, which is the best of the best and an official CES media only event. It's a little smaller, which means it's a little quieter, but I still see food. So let's take a look around and see what CES thinks is the best. Well, this is new for CES 2022. There are stickers behind me where you can indicate on your badge how you like to be interacted with. Red means don't touch me. Green means I'll shake your hand, but yellow means fist bumps and elbow bumps are good with me. I'm a fist and elbow bump kind of guy. So apparently they promised us flying cars and SkyDrive is building flying cars. I don't know if that's good or bad, but tomorrow or Wednesday or Thursday or whenever, they're gonna have one of these on the show floor that I can sit in. So uh, I'll tell you if I feel scared or not. He said I'd give me a discount if I volunteered as a test pilot, but I don't think anybody wants that. All right, so this one's a little bit weird. I'm wearing a linklet. And what this is, is a live streaming camera that shoots from your point of view for over the shoulder viewing. Let me turn around and you can see what I'm actually shooting. So on the left, you can see what he's wearing. And on the right, you can see what I'm wearing. And again, we're all live streaming to each other. And it's pretty, really cool. So they're just getting started in the US. So it's really expensive. And it took a while to understand why I'd want to be shooting out. But actually it's for like, if you're the eyes and someone else is going to be sort of guiding you. There's some pretty cool applications to this. It's actually really comfortable too. So I'm standing at the Urban Canopy booth. In French, by the way, it's Urban Canopy, but they had to change their name. But they do is they green cities where you can't put trees by selling these really big structures. By the way, that's the small one. They have much bigger structures. They're self-sustaining. They have water in them. There's solar power at pumps and it uses a climbing plant inside of it. What it does is it basically, you can put a tree portably where you would never be able to put a tree and you can regreen your city. Really nice technology. Probably one of the friendliest things I've seen here so far. Urban Canopy, or in the US, Urban Canopur. I'm at the Quantic IO booth and he says that if I take my mask off, this device is going to visually be able to tell my heart rate in 20 seconds. So let's see what happens. All right, so it says my heart rate is 90 beats per minute. How do I know that's accurate? Uh-oh, uh-oh. That's accurate. Damn. They're going through FDA clearances right now, but it's pure software. That's just a Samsung tablet, so let's keep an eye out for it. So I'm standing at the Embrane filter booth and they've created a hollow fiber membrane, which I had to make them tell me three times. And what this does is it allows them to make the smallest filter that gets rid of bacteria and microplastics. So while you would think this is a B2B company, they'd be making filters for other people, they actually have consumer products as well, where apparently you could fill this with pond water and it would be safe to drink, which is crazy. But really what it's about, it's about this. They've invented the next greatest filter. So I expect to see some good things from M Brand Filter sometime next year. So I'm standing at the Piku booth, I hope I said it right, and what this is, it's a video game system for outdoor play with no video games. It's just these four controllers. It comes as a set for $250. It comes with five games, but it basically is a non-screen time gameplay for real outside activity. They're all Bluetooth connected. There are five games that they come currently comes with, but you can get more games in the future that you either can purchase or subscribe to. But really it's about having your kids play in the real world and not in front of a screen. It's pretty cool. And it's from the Netherlands, it is, yeah. which is awesome. I'm at the circular booth and I've got their smart ring here. Smart ring, it's so small. Look at what it's got. It's got, it can read your temperature, your pulse ox, your heart rate, bunch of other things I don't remember. It also has a little vibration in here as well. It can be used to wake you up. So it's a really a lifestyle device thing where you're gonna wear it, it's gonna track you, and it's gonna give you feedback on what it is. It's not, yeah, it's supposed to be out in the spring. It's gonna be, I think between $250 and $300, but really fascinating. I'd love to get my hands on one of these. This is pretty cool. It's a circular smart ring. So I'm at the My Manu booth, and I'm wearing right now, can you see it? You can barely see it. It's a Titan. And what this is, little earbuds in here, this entire thing is a phone. It's a self-contained phone. It's a self-contained smartphone. Hopefully it's gonna be with T-Mobile. They said it'd be $150 or $200, but look at this, isn't that awesome? Basically, get out there, run, walk, jog, whatever, but you're not handing your phone, you're wearing your phone.
Apparently, it also has embedded translation, which I don't need at all because I don't know. Actually, embedded translation is really, really cool, but it's also an embedded translator. It's the whole thing. I mean, look at this. Look at look at this. This entire thing. Very, very small. Pretty cool. All right. So I'm currently at the fitting box booth. She has glasses. Hey. But you know yeah. what it's like. You go to wear your glasses. You got to try and do glasses, and you can't see because you're not wearing glasses. So what this does, it's going to digitally remove her glasses using augmented diminished reality. Wasn't yeah. that amazing? Look that? at that. Look at that. I want to go next. I want to see yeah. what it looks like if I do it. <laughs> wow, that is amazing. That is crazy. It took my glasses off. I'm still wearing them. I'm still wearing them. So this company already does. If you've gone to a store where they've put the virtual glasses on you, that's this company. This is just an updated feature. They just come away to do this where they remove the reality. They're calling it diminished reality. It's pretty awesome. The guy's got nothing to show me because everybody's caught traveling, but he, he, he called me over. It's bioenzymatic fuel cells because according to him, why should your technology use heavy metals when your body just uses organics? So he's using sugar in the form of paper to create paper batteries that can do between one microwatt and one milliwatt of power for very, very low power things. And he's crazy. But it seems really, really cool. And you know, I hate doing business to business, but I, I learned all the words and he showed me all the pictures and the idea that paper fuel cells might be a future part of our lives is just too exciting not to talk about. Also, he's pretty cool. All right, so again, BEFC, bioenzymatic fuel cells. It could be the wave of the future. All right, so I almost walked past this booth, but it's the little speaker. It's a little Bluetooth speaker. You're like, come on, man, it's a little speaker. But look, there's a magnet, and that's really cool. Look at this, look at this right And there it is, the magnet. And even then, I'm like, all right, it's a little speaker. Buy them right now on Amazon for 30 bucks. But here's the best part. It does Bluetooth, but it does Bluetooth stereo, which means if I have two of them, they're so smart, they want to buy two. He's going to come over here and... Literally stereo out of both speakers. That's pretty awesome. I like that. It's called the little speaker. So when you pass a booth that says collaborative surgery, you get a little bit like, um, what am I looking at here? But it turns out what they do is, is that at Abyss Medical, you upload your medical stuff to them. So like for broken bones, as it were, you upload it to them and they allow you to use their simulator about how you can basically build implants and simulations to figure out what the best treatment is. And that's collaborative. Then when you do that, you can also get a custom based implant that they'll coordinate have 3d printed so they actually help you build the right device that goes along with the broken bone and then you take it one step further and when they get approval for it use a hollow lens and during the actual surgery you'll use augmented reality to compare what is that you're doing to what it is that you're trying to do it's called abyss it looks really really wild hope i never have to use it I'm at Ansel, and it's a Korean-based company that sells these really cool beds because instead of having springs, they've got strings. It's smart string technology. And I was actually playing with it and feeling like how firm it was. He's like, I can make a waterbed loose. I'm like, how? Because apparently it uses an air compressor and it's a smart string bed. This is really neat. You can get them in Korea now. They don't sell them in the US yet, but it is really, really neat. It feels, it feels really cool. This is really, really neat technology. It's called Smart Strings and it's by Ansel and it's again a Korean bed company. Who to thunk it? Comes with the... Um... Yeah, all the old included. Silver is no real estate. <laughs> So I didn't interview them over the Pivo booth because it looks like they have eight different models and they charge based on which features they give you. And I hate that model. <laughs> I'm at the Prinker booth and I'm holding in my hand the world's first digital temporary tattoo maker. It's a label printer, but it's safe to go on the skin. It's really neat. So you're gonna see in a moment that he sprays something on his skin first. And what that is, is it's a primer, basically it's a fixer that allows the ink to stick. And I was doing a demo and the guy with the Associated Press was here. So we get to see the Associated Press temporary tattoo. <laughs> Thank you. Should I go? Go for it.
I didn't put one on me. These guys are covered. It's only two hundred dollars. So the the way it works is the ink is made of cosmetics and one hundred percent FDA certified. Two hundred fifty grams, and the display is the four point uh, five five point two K HDL uh, OLED display. I wasn't in love, but I wasn't hating it. Uh, it's very very lightweight. So I'll be honest with you, this thing I could barely feel that it was on. He's got the goggles on. He's got the five point motion sensor on around his neck he's got the bluetooth microphone that also acts as a dampener and then on his back on his back <laughs> on his back he's got the device that does hot and cold they sell a lot of products they're all useful products i don't necessarily feel that they're 100 yet i think they're still in the r d phase or they're in the sort of they're almost at product stage but i be honest with you from what i see here they know what they're trying to do I'd give them a few months to a year and see what their products turn into. Right now, those felt very prototype -y, but again, the positives outweigh the negatives. Free mode. So this is, I'm wearing the Arcellus, and this is a wearable exoskeleton that allows me to, well, I can, so I can walk and sit, and now, what, what else is the next mode? Turn the dial, and, oh my goodness, I'm sitting. I'm sitting. In Japanese, Arculus is walkable chair. And so literally, I can walk and I can, if I need to relax, I can do a quick relax. So this is for industrial work. If you've got to stand all day, this is for fatigue. This is amazing. This is really amazing. It's only sold in Japan right now, but maybe one day. Now, I'll be honest with you, it was really comfortable. Wouldn't want to wear it all day in terms of walking around. But if I had to stand all day, that would be the thing to stand in. It's $4,000 though. I'm standing at the Vivu booth and they sell these little at-home urine test strips. Now these are the old versions, but these are the new versions that are coming out in two days. And you do this once a week, unless you're crazy and you want to track a whole bunch of things, in which case you can buy more of them. But a six months kit is only like, you said $60? Six dollars for six months, and it tracks the new ones: magnesium, calcium, pH, ketones, liver, salinity, water, vitamin C. I'm reading a sign, UTIs, but it's all right here. And if you're trying to track how your body is doing, this is a great way of basically comparing how your body's doing from week to week. And it's Vivu, and you can buy these on Amazon. And apparently, you pee on this end, not on this end. This is the hole. This is the third time I've done this video. All right, so imagine that you don't like radio waves. And matter of fact, in France, little kids can't be around radio waves, so you can't even have Wi-Fi in the classrooms there. So what are you gonna do, if wired everywhere? No, what you're gonna do is, you're gonna do a company like OLEDcom, by the way, it's OLEDcom.net, they told me that one. Anyway, and they use Li-Fi technology. Li-Fi, what that is, it is an emitter and a receiver, in this case, or a dongle. And the idea is it creates a cone that uses light, to infrared lights, so you can't see it, to transmit and receive, and you get high speed. You have about 150, 75 upload download speeds, but the coolest thing is they have now created for the schools tablets, and the tablets have the receivers built in, so you don't have to use dongles anymore. Anyway, it's really neat technology. If you're trying to avoid electromagnetic radiation in your life, infrared's the way to go. So last year, we didn't have a CES. We had a CES online and I was giving everybody crap. And then I saw J5 Create and I love their products. Remember, I liked their products before I saw this stuff online and they had a 360 all around webcam that I ran out and bought immediately. And then we started talking about other webcams as well. But apparently there's a new version of it and look at this. I love this, this is awesome. It's a 360 webcam, it's 1080p. And you look over here, it's got the full 360 around. And now the new one on the bottom has a microphone and it also has a remote. Again, if you're doing a conference, I mean, who's sitting in a room today anyway? But if you wanted to sit in a room, you all sit around the table and you see everybody at the same time. The thing about J5 Create is they have a lot of accessories and I already own a lot of their accessories and everything they have works. And I have a 4K camera of theirs, which I'm dying to review, but I keep forgetting to. So a review is coming soon. So I'm standing at the Glitch Gear booth in front of the Glitch Battle Station. This is really, really cool. This is a complete table with an integrated PC, and not just any PC, it's a top-of-the-line Alienware PC. But it's more than just a table. He's gonna open it up, and this is completely modular. 
It's completely modular so that everything you see here, you can swap out for better and better components. Matter of fact, there's room to put another system in here if you want to put like an Xbox or a PlayStation in there. The really cool thing here is, is at the end of the day, this is just a really, really, really giant fancy computer case. But if you're an eSports person, and I know you're an eSports person, this is what you want to be sitting at. Multiple fans, completely upgradable, top of the line, and really, really luxurious pro pro table. It's expensive, but not expensive if you like this type of toys. So I'm holding in my hand the Invoxia Smart Dog Collar. Now, why do you need a smart dog collar? Well, this thing tracks everything about your dog. First of all, it's got GPS. So it'll tell you where your dog has been. It has heart monitoring. It's got, what else is Activity and sleep. It can tell you if it's been barking. And all these things with their AI system allow you to track what's going on and sort of keep an eye on your dog's health and wellness. When it ships, it's gonna be about $100 and about $14 a month for tracking purposes. Pretty neat. Again, if you love your dog, you wanna know what your dog is doing, when it's doing it, and then maybe you'll find out why. You know, when I was finishing up, they wanted to remind me that this isn't just for GPS tracking, that really preventative health for dogs is really important. So apparently I'm at the I'm Beside You company and they're tracking my voice and my pitch and my emotion. And apparently they think I'm angry, but I'm not angry. This is the happy Jared, not the angry Jared. This is really wild. These people know too, know too much. This is dangerous stuff. So you look at that, I'm just amazed. So this is the emotional and voice graph and facial score graph. Yeah. That is crazy. So they sell a service and the, what they explained to me was that an example would be tracking uh, teachers and students and seeing how their responses are and seeing that when things are happier, scores go up as an example. And so this is a really amazing and powerful data set that you can use and it's by I'm Beside You. Really neat. I would love to play with this more. So it's still a prototype. They don't have a price and they don't have a name and it isn't ready yet, but this by Quantum is the first non-invasive glucose sensor that can follow change before and after eating without any invasiveness. You just wear it and it tells you how your glucose is doing. That's amazing. But we have to be patient and wait for it to turn to a commercial product. So, you know, I hate to show things when it's too early, but this is too much of a game changer not to mention it. All right, so I'm at the Moon Bikes booth, and let me tell you something, this is an all electric snow bike, and I will never be on one of these in the wild. As a matter of fact, if this was even on, I'd be scared to death. But if you are an outdoorsman, and I know you are, for $8,500, you can have an all electric snow vehicle. It's pretty awesome, actually. I feel like I want to play a video game. So I'm at the Nereo booth with Ned, or actually Ned 2, this is a robot used for primarily education purposes. You're not, this is not an industrial robot. This is a robot that you use if you wanna do training and education and learning. Oh, this is really awesome. It's $4,000 and it's really, again, there's all sorts of education stuff around it. I really, really want one. I have no need for one, but come on, come on. It's a robot. I saw a demo of this online at the virtual CES, but here it is, right there it is. That is the Vespera telescope by Veyanis. And this thing is $1,500 and it works in cities. It doesn't care about the fact that I've got cloud and light pollution because it sees through it. Anyway, I really, really want one of these. They're not out yet, they're coming out soon. The big brother, which is $4,000, that's already on the market. But this little one, look at that, that little one, 1500 and it's oh so close to being ready for you and me to get one. I'm really looking forward to seeing this in action. A lot of companies here do not have their products with them, which drives me crazy. Why would you do that? But I'm standing at the Infocal booth and they won the Embedded Technology Award and they, they can't bring the laser that actually lasers expiration dates on the food packaging as it goes by a conveyor belt. So instead, they built one out of Legos. That's pretty cute. And I know it did get my attention, but anyway, good luck to you guys. So I'm not wearing my mask because I had to put this over my head. This is called the Hat Bee. And what it is, is it plays ultra low frequencies and there's different combinations you can for things like focus and sleep. And matter of fact, they have their own sort of like weird sort of combinations that you can get uh, that you can subscribe to. It's $20 a month, the unit itself is 
$400 and it allows you to replace things like coffee or caffeine or other, I think he said nicotine as well. The idea is that it plays these frequencies and you don't feel it until you feel it. And I'm really, really excited about it. They also have a sleep mask that does something similar and you wear it against your head and it plays other frequencies. So pretty cool, it's by Happy. That's H-A-P-B-E-E. -E. So I'm here with Bob. That's the name of the device. It's by Dan Technologies. And what Bob is, is for $400, he is a tabletop dishwasher. You're like, wait a second, I've seen small dishwashers. This is a very small dishwasher. Matter of fact, this dishwasher doesn't even require you to have water hookup. You can have water hookup, you can have a drain hookup, but if you wanted to, you could put a gallon of water in the top and it would, with electricity, it does the heat up the whole thing and the, the water comes out the bottom. This is it, your own little personal dishwasher. And it's called Bob and it's by Dan. I'm at the Chess Up booth and they have the coolest chess board I've ever seen. If you touch any of the pieces, it'll tell you what the valid moves are. Red means don't do it, green means do do it, purple means that's where you are? Yep. And then if you do that, it automatically knows. So the AI in here is telling you what's, not just what's legal, but what's a good idea. Okay, so bad idea to capture the queen, good idea to just move out of the way. That is so beautiful. Because it's teaching you along the way. That's the point. This is not a chess board that cheats, it's a chess board that teaches. So I stuck around the chess booth a little bit longer and they told me some other cool things. It turns out that it's networked so you can play against other people and that's really cool as well. But the best thing about this isn't just being able to play remotely, it'll match you with somebody who has the same skill set as you. Because the most annoying thing about playing chess is being killed by someone who's better than you or basically destroying someone who's much worse than you. All right, I can pronounce the name of it once and only once. This is the Air Zone and what this is is that the mask I'm wearing is a passive mask. Basically, it's screening the stuff, stuff go in there and it dies and it's filtering it out, but that's it. And this, by the way, as is, is one as well. It's got little filters and stuff in it. And it's a regular mask though. This mask as it is, is much better than my mask as it is. However, he's got a little battery pack here and he's gonna magnetically attach it and bam. Bam, look at that. Now this is active. And the difference between active and passive is, the passive is just sort of grabbing it all. This thing is actually killing it all. And so there's all sorts of words that I couldn't pronounce, but basically this battery pack, which lasts eight hours, is many, many, many times better than what I'm wearing right here. And it's really, really cool. And how much does it cost? So we're at, a, we're at an asking price of 400 euros because the lifespan of the product is three years. Wow. That's awesome. Thank you. All right, so CES 2022 unveiled is over. The next big press event is Pepcom, which is tomorrow night. It was an interesting show. I don't think I saw everything I never do, even though it was smaller and there's a lot more spaces and some of the big boys pulled out, but it's still CES, still a lot of innovative stuff. I hope you had a good time. I certainly did. So a quick good morning shout out to the people from My Air and their plant fuel goodness uh, herbal health bars. So they contacted me for CES and it turns out they had to pull out. They're not going to be at CES, but they did send me the box of these bars. You go online, you fill out a questionnaire and they determine what type of stressors you have and what kind of bars you need. And they sent me focused yellow and sleepy gray. And I will be honest with you, when you have one of these, this focused yellow, I'm like alert and the sleepy gray really puts me to sleep. And I've been doing this every day now twice a day now for the past week and these bars are really really good i'm gonna be doing a full review on this after ces because this is the date flavored bars they're going to be sending me some of the chocolate flavored bars as well but i'll be honest with you nice shout out for some really cool products and yeah my air mm.